Hello again, everybody. I'm Tim Brandt. Glad to have you along for what really should be a terrific matchup. I think to understand the 2002 Florida State NC State football game, you have to go all the way back to 2000. That's when this thing started to build up. NC State was looking for a change, and they went after one of their own, Chuck Amato, to come back and re-energize Wolfpack Nation. And boy, did he ever. And as they went into 2002, they won their first nine games. They were 9-0. and Then they stumbled a little bit. They lost to Georgia Tech, Maryland, and Virginia. You wonder, was this thing over? Going into the Florida State game, could they really play with the Seminoles again? Well, they did. Defensively, he had a great game plan. He held the Knowles under 200 yards for the entire game. And then offensively, of course, he had Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers had a great day, had almost uh, completed almost 20 of his 27 passes that day, if I remember correctly. And T.A. McClendon came into the game banged up with his bad shoulder. He went over 100 yards, and he was a clock eater. Oh, there's no question Chuck Amato had a great day, and he had a great run while at NC State. This was a great game, and it was fun to do.